focus on what you want. There's a big difference between focusing on what you want and focusing on what you don't want. There's a big difference. Yeah. And I want to talk about this because I'm making a little series on TikTok, making these short videos. And a big reason why I want to do this is I basically want to reprogram myself to just focus on the positive things that I want to achieve. Because often what happens when you kind of get in life and you have kids and everything's just going and you get stuck in this phase where you're just afraid to lose. You're afraid to lose money. You're afraid to take risk. You get in this place where like you no longer want to, it's not, you're not trying to win anymore. You're just trying not to lose. And, and, and a lot of people, that's not a bad thing, right? The best investors don't lose money. They avoid losing money. But I want to get to another level and I want to take more risk. And I have to get out of this mindset of getting out of avoiding this whole idea of losing or this idea of focusing on what I don't want. So what I do every morning is um, I, when I take a shower, I have this little notepad, a waterproof notepad, and I usually write down notes and ideas. And I want to read some of them to you because th this is what's on my mind right now. The first question, I've been using this a lot, uh, what am I focused on? Right? And I like asking that question because if you ask yourself that question, you'll automatically answer it. What am I focused on? If you ask it enough times. And I wrote, wish fulfilled. I wrote that wish fulfilled because I want to feel like I've achieved my goal. If I'm in that state of mind, if I'm in that state of feeling, I'm more likely to get there. And then my other note here is consciously persuade my subconscious through wish fulfilled which is an ROI machine. What the heck does that even mean? So a great author, his name is Neville Goddard. And he has this really good book, 1944, I think the book was written. It's called Feeling is the Secret. And in the first chapter, he talks about how the way you feel, you know, your conscious mind is sort of the masculine part of your consciousness. Your subconscious is the feminine. And you can't really control your subconscious mind, not directly. You can only work through it indirectly. He says you can't even command your subconscious mind. Your conscious mind is like, I'm consciously making a video. I'm talking to you about what's on my mind. My subconscious is kind of, if you're watching the video, if you're listening, you're hearing my subconscious. You're hearing my energy. You're, is it positive? Is he telling the truth? Is he convicted in what he's saying? And what you have to do to train your subconscious mind or how your subconscious mind works, it works as feminine. You have to persuade it. The way it gets programmed is through feeling, through feeling of your consciousness. When you have a positive experience at a game, when you have a positive experience with your significant other, when you have a negative experience with a relationship, when you have positive and negative experience, you're, that those feelings and those behaviors, not behaviors, those feelings, specifically those feelings, program your subconscious. And your subconscious is running so much larger than you realize in the background. And what it's doing is it's just taking all the inputs that you've ever put into it from your day, your life, your childhood, and it's pushing into your conscious body, conscious mind, conscious behavior. And your subconscious is so powerful. Like there's just so many habits that we have. We do things without thinking too often. It's just part of how we do. It's how we survive. It's how we conserve energy. And when you make a radical change, in your life, you have to exert a lot of conscious effort in positivity or not positivity, just conscious effort on what the thing you're trying to do. And a lot of it, and like I said, it has to, it comes through feeling. And it's because of these feelings that program your subconscious mind to not be afraid, to be courageous, to have the habit of, of believing in God, of going to church, of doing things differently, of going to the gym, of taking care of yourself, or the opposite, such as eating that cake, not going to the gym, being lazy, watching pornography, right? All that kind of stuff. That's the world is programming you and you have to take control of how you train your subconscious mind. And that's why I wrote that. The other thing that's on my mind is ROI machine. Um, ROI machine is an offer that self liquidates. That's like one of my biggest goals is to produce an offer where I can put a dollar in and I can get a dollar out. That's why it's called self-liquidating. And then I get a customer out of it, right? Or I could put $10,000 in and then I get $10,000 out, right? Now you might be thinking, why would you wanna break even? I'm not breaking even, I'm making money. Because the way that works is, this is basically the concept I have in my head in math right now, is that I wanna put a dollar into the machine and then I wanna make 80% back. But then in 60 days, 
I make another 40%. So basically for every dollar that I put in after 60 days, I'll get a dollar 20 out, right? And that's what I'm thinking of. It actually gets me very excited because I like numbers, I like math. If you ever take the wealth dynamics, um, the wealth dynamics test, I am mostly a mechanic, right? My secondary profile is creator and Lord, but I am a mechanic and I'm very analytical, right? I like processes. And when I can see the process and I can see how it works, especially through math and analysis, it's exciting to me. Even talking about it makes me excited. I wrote next here, focus on what you want, be the content, consume to create. So the reason why I wrote this, consume to create or be the content is I consume a ton of stuff. I listen to podcasts, I listen to videos, I listen to audiobooks. Like I always have something in my ear. And why do I have that? Because I've always convinced myself the reason why I did that is because I just have a lot of negative thoughts and I'm always down on myself or I don't feel good that I have to put something in my head, in my ear constantly to make me feel better. And often what actually does happen too is it's a fight against boredom, but quickly that boredom turns to depressive like thoughts. But I came up with this idea here, consume to create. I like that idea. Consume to create, right? See, the thing is I'm consuming so much I'm not creating. And it wasn't until recently that I started producing content consistently. And that's what I'm trying to do here now. So consume to create. That's what this is. Um, another thing I wrote down here is no bad thoughts, no negative thoughts, right? So this is the same idea. Focus on what you want. Focus on what you don't want, right? That's the language there, right? So no bad thoughts. Focus on good thoughts, right? It's the language. I'm trying to find a way to change the language in my head because that's where it goes. It goes, don't get hurt, avoid risk, don't lose money, don't have bad thoughts, don't think negative thoughts. Instead, have positive thoughts. But when I say the word positive thoughts or the phrase positive thoughts, it's not very effective. It's very um, overused and it's not particularly motivating to me, right? Another one I wrote is effective thoughts. I like that one better. Loving thoughts. So the idea here is to avoid saying avoid. <laughs> avoid saying not. Avoid saying negative. Don't even think about the negative. Focus on it. Like, have you ever been really hungry and you're just looking for food? That's all you're thinking about. You're not worried about like if you won't find food, right? You're focused on finding food because you want to eat, right? And that's the thing. You want to get yourself, I mean, and I'm just trying to like, it's, there's so small nuances, but that's a big part of like how I'm going to change myself into 2024 to get to the next level that I want to get to is being able to consume to create, to focus on positive thoughts, to focus on what it is that I want with the thing that I want to achieve and just just barrel down and run for it. I remember like when I reached my first 500 pound deadlift, I was just so focused on just learning everything I could that I could lift the weight. Things I worked on, I found every edge I could and I achieved it. You know, I lifted as high as 573 pounds in competition. I think my max 500 pound deadlift was probably three, three reps. I think I got three and a half reps. Anyways, hope you enjoy, enjoyed hanging out with me. Maybe I'll do more of these shower thoughts of some kind, but that's all I got.